capitalist arguments at the top part of the debate. Tell the judge immediately what the impacts are and why they outweigh the affirmative impact. Start that debate ASAP. And this one is sort of the last one is sort of the hardest, and I know it is. Pick the correct dissent. I know a lot of people struggle when it comes to picking the correct arguments to go for the 2 r 2 r may be the hardest speech in the debate for this reason. All right? How do you determine what's the best dissent? Okay? You look at a couple things. One is the quality of arguments made against the dissent by the affirmative in the 1AR, 2AR. Or sorry, 1AR, 2 ac excuse me. The second is that you choose, you choose the DA that you think is the strongest. Even if the opposing team spends more time on it, if you go for a DA that you know the impact doesn't make any sense, or the link doesn't make any sense, or the uniqueness card is old, that is a non-strategic disad to go for. Okay? Don't just go for a disad because the affirmative team made two answers on this disad, but nine on this disad. What if those two answers are just factually correct? Your disad says the U.S. economy is strong now, and your card is from May, and then they've got th two cards that are just like, yesterday, Trump came out and said, we're going to nuclear war because our economy is just tanked itself, right? The truthiness, the truthiness of the two AC answers may dictate that you need to go for the other disad because it is strong. Make sense? All right? Last but not least, the two AR. Number one, oh, sorry, yes. Sure. If they if they're winning like the link debate, but they have completely dropped an impact for that coming out of the block, do you think that the two and R should be like beating that this up or maybe not? So let's ask this question. What is the purpose of the dis What do we talk what is the what is the thing I said the dis test, the what relationship? Uh, cause and effect. So even if they drop the impact, if there's no cause and effect relationship, does it make sense to try to extend that dis no. no. Good question. Because people may tend to think I'm clearly winning the impact. I only need to win a risk of the link. You'll hear a lot of people say risk of the link. But you as a 2NR, and this happens via practice debates, via rebuttal redos, via just debating itself, you will know how much of that risk is necessary for winning that particular debate. If you don't think there's a chance and you know what to win in the link debate, I pick another dissent. If you saw in your judges' faces and they were going like this when he was talking, I'm going to go with that. Or maybe you're being judged by Dallas Perkins. That's not a link. Not voting for it. Moving on. Right? Go for a better dissent. All right, 2AR. First thing, and I didn't put this on here. In the 2AR, you must start with the case debate. Why do you think I say start with the case debate? Yes, sir, in the blue. Put your offense first. Offense first. Remember, what did I say? You can win the debate even if you drop the dissent. You should not try to drop the dissent. But if you, even if you don't effectively answer the dissent, you can still win the debate if you win, your case impact outweighs. Focus on your strongest arguments on the dissent. Do not waste time trying to extend blippy arguments that are not well developed. Judges won't buy them. If you say for five seconds, oh yeah, the dissent is not unique. That was wasted five seconds because it didn't accomplish anything. And expose the negative where it is weakest. If the negative doesn't uh, extend their impact in the 2NC or the 2NR, can they win a dissent? No. They have not told you why the impact is relevant. If they do not talk about the uniqueness debate, and you are winning that the dissent is non-unique, can you can they win the dissent? No. Remember, it's a link in a chain. If the dissent is non-unique, there's no dissent. If there's no link, there's no dissent. If there's no internal link, there's no dissent. All right. And that's it. Uh, I hope this lecture was helpful. Uh, does anybody have any questions about this lecture or anything that I've talked about so far? All right, I am going to dismiss you. Oh, yeah, sorry, not yet. Everybody wait. Yes. Um, sorry. Uh, I was trying to like, quickly tell the significance of the brink that you say significance of the brink? Like, like what, what's the importance of it in the brink? So the importance of, like, the brink in terms of uniqueness is you need to be able to, remember the argument I said about uniqueness overwhelms the link? Right? You need to be able to indicate that your uniqueness is good but not great. You don't want to give away the fact that the brink, we're on the teetering point between good and bad. So if your brink is not very good, then there's no reason that the AV causes the impact. Okay? All right? Yes? I think prep time should be allocated. I think prep time, the way prep time gets allocated depends on the kind of blocks you've written for the disag. 
if you write very good blocks to your diss ad, it should not take you very little time to prepare the actual speech for the diss ad. Let me say this though. Uh, pro tip. If, uh, what's your name again, Charlie? Charlie? All right, what's your name? Doug. Doug. All right. Charlie's taking the federalism diss ad. Doug is taking the econ diss ad, okay? Does Charlie need to flow the answers to the econ diss ad? You say yes? Who says no? Who says yes? The answer is sort of. You should probably flow it, but one of the things you will probably want to do is this. I mean, actually, I'll use a better example. If you're not going to go for T, then you use that time that they're using to answer T to start preparing your blocks for the arguments you're going to take. And then whoever is not processing for the 2AC, that person should be using that as prep time as well. So that's like three A's for built-in minutes. So I don't have a, like a definitive, you take three, you take seven. But if you have great blocks, and you've done enough prep work during the, like, you know, for the disad itself, the two AC should be able to stand up in pretty much reasonably a quick amount of time. All right, what other questions? All right, go to your labs. Thank you very much. How do you stop this thing? Which one? Like four. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I think it's that one. It takes up a lot. I don't quite know what it does. Yeah, I ran out of the book. Tommy, I'm Tom Cut. Hit me up at a SC35. You pee really bad. Hey, so fun. Like, Thank you.